Hey guys, this is Severo from Severo Music Studios and we are not in the studio, we are out and about. That's what this series is going to be called when we're not in the studio interviewing other people, hanging with other people, other musicians outside the studio. We are out and about. Now this episode is dedicated to a special kind group of people. They are known as buskers. Buskers, if you don't know the term, uh, if we remember from the movies, the people who are in the New York subway station just singing with their guitar. And there is a gathering in Cape Town where these buskers, you know, gather. And everyone else knows where beautiful talent gathers with beautiful scenery, great food, the V&A Waterfront. from Severo Music Studios and we have a group here and they are called? Joy and the Blacksmith. Joy and the Blacksmith. This is? Alan Joy. Rudy the Toy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you, and like you saw now they play some amazing music but just tell me how do you guys come as a group? How do you know each other? We met at an open mic night. Um, he was in the band The Guys Alive that we both play in now. Um, and he was brilliant, and I was too nervous to talk to him. Is there any, and is there any way that we, where we can follow you online, maybe? Yeah, the guys alive on Facebook. Join the blacksmith on Facebook. Oh, Alana Facebook. Joy on Facebook. Uh, Instagram, SoundCloud, all other things. A couple of hidden YouTube video clips. Please do not find them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Just tell me, guys, as, as a busker, what what kind of identity does it bring you? Mm. I think that that? most people here enjoy the. Hits. Mm. So like the pop songs, the rock songs, whatever's like been on the radio kind of thing. Um, and I find that people react better to the music when it's a pop song. Yeah. Um, so I have like tailored my set a little bit to that. So like I said, I was going to ask you about this guitar. Now I notice it's not an Ibanez and it's not a Fender. So why this is, so why this particular one? We are sponsored by a tattoo artist and this is actually his guitar. It's just so much more versatile, it can do so much more. Uh, it doesn't fall in that whole stigma of it's a Fender Strat and this is what it's going to do. This is a Les Paul, this is what it's going to do. Yeah. As soon as built to last, it's built for stage, it's built for life. So. Okay, guys, just to end up, what, do you have a um, little message maybe to the young aspiring buskers or musicians out there um, wanting to put their name out and about? What, can, you know, what message can you give them in your experience? Um, just make sure you're enjoying it because there's times when just make sure you're not only doing it for the money because obviously like busking is a way to make money and it's a way to get your music out there but just make sure that you're still enjoying it because if you do it every day for three hours a day sometimes the life gets sucked out of it as long as you're connecting with people like make make that your main goal I forget. She basically said it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I went out of it <laughs> yeah, no, no, look, like she said it's all about the connection um, somebody can put 10 rand in the car that's great, you've got 10 bucks, or someone can walk up to you and say, I've gone through really, really, really tough times last week, but hearing that last song actually brightened up my day. Yeah. And that is much more important than anything else. Yeah. Oh, join the, that was join the Blacksmith people. Make sure to follow them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I'm out soon. Girl all the time, 
So, guys, again, managed to catch another busk over here, and this is Dylan. Dylan. Uh, tell me, man, how long have you been playing out here? I've been basking since December, so just going on a year now. A uh, question I asked the other one, what, what um, is it to like be a busker? What kind of identity does it put upon yourself to be known as a group of buskers? What does it really mean? It's not, I don't know, it's not really a fixed term, I guess. It kind of shifts day to day, it just depends where you are, who is your crowd, kind of thing. Because I mean, in certain, depends on where you play. Because I mean, if you're playing in one place, the people might appreciate it. In another place, they might think it's always... Um, so yeah. Okay. And uh, do, you, do you actually get uh, the, the, the enjoyment and do you, do you find it fulfilling? You know, with, with the crowd, uh, do you, uh, is there moments, you know, we, even if you have just one person that, that really adores the, that set that you do? Yeah. Does it come across a lot, yeah? Yeah, I think it does really as well. And in terms of like with kids, little kids yeah. especially. It can inspire. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, it's like these toddlers and they're just crawling and running all over the place. And they don't know what the hell they're doing, but it's cute as hell. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been playing guitar and with the singing? Did you have lessons in um, one or the other or both? No, just like I sang in high school. Um, choir. You started in high school or in church? It, did, yeah. it didn't start in church? No. <laughs> no, it, it started in high school technically, but it didn't do much. And then guitar, I taught myself um, in when I was in grade 10, so I've been playing for about a little bit, fourth year now. Both here. Um, and I notice this an acoustic. I've seen this man around before. He was playing an electric at the time. Uh, do, you, do you chop and change? Um, depending um, on what? Yeah, you know what? When I started, I, I when I started, in fact, I literally just had an acoustic. It wasn't as nice as this. I still have it actually. Just a little nylon string. Yeah, we, one all, of those cheapies, keep, 500 we, we grand. We have to keep the first one we have. Man. Yeah. So you know, I started with that. Couldn't plug in anything. So. <laughs> when I, when I started, I literally... Was it also half size, not full size? Yeah, <laughs> just everything was just like... So yeah, when I started, I started here, as I say, in December. Um, within two weeks, I managed to be able to get some cash to get some like, proper, well, not proper, but like equipment. Decent, yeah. yeah, decent equipment. I had a little Roland, you saw. Um, and I had my electric, and then, yeah, that was me. And I, obviously a mic and mic stand and whatever. Um, but then, since then, I've managed to upgrade my equipment. So now I've got a proper full-on speaker, a little mixer desk, uh, two mics, two guitars, that kind of Everything thing. Everything you need to just be yeah. So that pretty much draws the end to our day, our journey here with the buskers and musicians. Guys, please, if I can ask just one thing, please continue supporting these musicians who's trying to make it out there. When you see a musician anywhere, don't just walk past. Just take one second and appreciate the music. As always, please like, please share, and continue to support. Hi, my name is Dylan Ferret. Please do follow Severo Music on YouTube channel. Hi, we are Joe and the Blacksmith. Go follow Severo Music Studios online and on Facebook and wherever else you might find it. <laughs>